Welcome to the next episode of this video series, on shortwave radio for beginners. This time, we are talking about a topic, which is loosely related to shortwaves, as many radios provide this feature. The air band. Let's start. First of all, air band is not shortwave. We cover this topic here, because many shortwave receivers will offer this feature. Air band, or, aircraft band is a VHF frequency range, between 108 and 137 MHz, used in civil aviation, for communication, between aircrafts and air traffic controllers, and airports. This communication channel, is available for listening for the public, and usually used, for arrival and departure control, and information services, like weather information. Depending, on how far you are located from the airport, you can listen to this conversations. If you are located too far from the airport, more than 100 kilometers, you may not hear the airport, but, you may hear the aircrafts, as these may be near your locations, as they fly above you. Now, take a look, on the basic theory of the air band. FM radio is located between 88 and 108 megahertz. Air band, is a bit above FM, between 108 and 137 megahertz. A standard radio, is not able to reach these frequencies, you need a special device supporting the air band. This feature is always indicated as air, on your device. The frequency range, is split into 200 narrow band channels, of 50 kHz. I show you some examples in a few seconds. Unlike short waves, VHF, or very high frequencies are not bouncing between the ground and the ionosphere. These frequencies are scattered as they travel, and for this reason, only can travel about 100 km, or 60 miles, on the surface of Earth. Consider this, locate the next available airport in your surroundings, if you are far away from any airport, air bands may not be relevant for you. If there is an airport, in your area, you will find public websites, like skyvector.com, publishing the available frequencies of your airport. Not all frequencies are always active. ATIS or Automatic Terminal Information Service is always available, providing continuous information about weather or runway conditions. You can also use this frequency, to test your reception. In my case, the ATIS, and air traffic control, are probably located in different locations, as ATC had a much stronger signal in my location. The other frequencies, are used for communication with the aircrafts. In my example, I will use 129.05 MHz, which is used to navigate the aircraft when approaching and landing. You can listen to the radio communication, and monitor the flights, at the same time, by using an online flight monitoring service, like flightradar24.com. This is really great fun. I will show you in a minute. For you. To have a practical example, I share my conditions, related to my airport, so you can have an idea, how it works. I am located about 45 kilometers or 30 miles from the Austrian, Vienna International Airport. Between me, and the airport, there are also the 500 meters high Vienna Alps. And still, I have a very good reception, without any special FM antenna. I use the same external long wire, that I use for listening the short waves, with my Texan S2000. Important to mention, for VHF listening, your antenna plays a big role. You can significantly improve the quality of reception, with a good antenna. Consider using an external antenna, try long wire, telescopic or relocating your device. Also experiment, with changing the position and location of your antenna, if you have a telescopic, turn it left or right, VHF may be also sensitive for such small things. Now, let's listen to the air band. First, 
I will tune the ATIS, or Automatic Terminal Information Service. Then we will listen to the approach frequency, listening the tower and aircrafts communicating. Also follow the flights on the flight radar service online. Information present at 1052 arrival runway 34 ILS transition level 120 wind touchdown zone 320 degree 24 knots visibility touchdown zone 50 kilometers cloud fuel 1800 feet broken 2400 feet temperature 7 2.2 QNH 1012 moderate turbulence in approach between flight level 190 and flight level 100 runway 34 condition report at 0858 runway condition holds 555 first part 100% wet, second part 100% wet, third part 100% wet. Auf den Tupac Eco Defense 2600 feet. 2600 feet auf den Tupac Eco. Auf den 999 Charlie Defense 7000 feet. Auf den 999 Charlie Defense 7000 feet. Auf den Tupac Eco Reich 310 4 LS 34 wird established. Reich 310 4 LS 34 Eco auf den Tupac Eco. Julia Terra Golf 868, Contact Green, Redemont 34, Lester Mann 440, goodbye. 440, goodbye, Julia Terra Golf 868. Natural 7, Descent 10,000, Green, 1013. Natural 1013, Natural 7, 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 Alpha Descent 7000 feet, QNH 1013. 
Wow! This was great fun. You may also be interested, on other videos on this channel about our adventures, and travel vlogs, from all around the world. See you next time. Comment below and thanks for watching.